Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about altruistic servers, a malicious server you may have noticed in your task manager. In this video, I will explain why it is malicious, where it came from and how to remove it from your system. First and foremost, let's sort out its status. None of the non-legitimate programs create or use altruistic servers. Windows lacks one as well, so it cannot be a system process. These facts are accompanied by the fact that by user reports, altruistics create significant CPU load, up to 80%. That is a typical behavior of coin miner malware. Such malware exploits the hardware, particularly the processor, to mine cryptocurrencies. As this process requires a lot of calculation power, be ready to see 60-80% to of your CPU loaded with a single task. Even though CPU is not optimal for this task and GPU mining is much more efficient performance-wise, it is profitable for hackers who establish huge networks that consist of hundreds of infected PCs connected to a single mining pool. Additionally, they opt for cryptocurrencies with simplified blockchain models like Monero or DuckCoin. This allows to additionally speed up the mining process. But why a service? People used to see a strange executable file taking a lot of CPU power when we talk about miners. And that is the reason hackers simply found a better disguise, as it will take some time to understand that altruistic service is not something legitimate. Additionally, by using a service instead of an executable file, groups provide better persistence to their malware. It is possible to protect the service in a way that any attempts of its manual removal will cause blue screen of death. That is actually the reason why it is not the best option to perform manual removal operations. Now, let's find out how this malware appeared. Most of the time, kind miners infiltrate as a part of cracked SOC. Another popular way is through dropper malware that is already active on your computer. Droppers are stealthy malware that function with only one purpose – malware delivery. You can get infected with one through an email spam link, fake program installer, or the like. If you recently interacted with the things that I shown or mentioned on the video, be sure that altruistic servers did not appear out of nowhere. Well, now let's discuss the removal process. As I said, it is a bad idea to remove it manually. Also, other malicious programs may reside in your system as well, so I recommend using written software malware for scanning and removing all the paths from your system. I'll put the loading link to the description. Before using green soft and time malware, I also recommend switching the system to safe mode with networking. It restricts non-system processes from starting up on the system startup, so the malicious miner will not overload the system. Click the reboot button while holding your shift button. Then, on the recovery screen, go to troubleshoot, then to sort up settings. On the next screen, press the 5 button on your keyboard, to load into the safe mode with networking. With that being said and done, let's start the scan. I recommend running a full scan, as it will check even the most remote areas of your disks. It may take up to 10 minutes, but you will be sure that nothing is missed. As you can see, it already detected the paths, so let's give it a bit more time to finish. Well, now the scan is over. Click Clean Now to wipe all the detected items all at once. This may also take some time when there are a whole lot of detections. And now, the system is clean of any malicious items. Good luck and stay safe online.